Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and I've been doing some videos on the Teensy Duino to try to make a high-speed oscillator with uh, high performance. And uh, but my last video, I did a um, high-speed read using the uh, library ADCL, and I show how to set that up. And uh, I was able to get up to over 500 kilohertz, 568 kilohertz, using a uh, you know, potentiometer to control the frequency because the analog read is the slowest, one of the slowest functions on this device and, and in this algorithm that I've been using. And uh, I found a way to, but, but the problem was is it had a lot of jitter in the, in the signal. And uh, I was just doing a single average and of course if you do multiple averages you'll slow it down. So um, I found a way to get around the whole thing and still get a very high speed oscillator with a very stable signal with no jitter in it and uh, I'm just going to do a quick video to show how how, to, how I fix that problem and uh, if you want more details about how to do the ADCL and the fast read you should watch my last video okay let's get started okay so I was just going to do a quick video here on this is a Teensy Duino uh, 4.0 and uh, I'm doing the fast sampling and before I was having issues with um, uh, the uh, a lot of jitter in the signal and I was able to get rid of the jitter and still get let, let's take a look at the speed here this is uh get our cursors up here oh, come on so before I found a way to do averaging and not affect the uh, the speed of the oscillator. Before we're getting a max speed of 568 kilohertz, and by adding the averaging, I only decrease the, um, the speed by a, a tiny, tiny bit here. So looks like we are able to get uh, over 500 kilohertz still, and very, very. Uh, solid solid signal let me um well, I mean, it doesn't even look like it's moving but it is let me let me uh, get this guy here okay so here is our teensy duino okay here's our teensy duino and i'll just vary the potentiometer so you can see it's actually running and uh i'm able to vary it of course, it's on a very coarse scale right now because I'm having it go all the way down to a kilohertz or so. And I do full, full uh, twist of the potentiometer, but definitely very solid signal now. Okay, let me show you how I do that. Okay, so um, if you haven't watched my last video. I would recommend doing that. I'm, I'm just making a modification to the uh, fast read uh, TNC Duino 4.0 and I'm using the fast read uh, ADCL uh, algorithm or uh, library and I show how to install that and use that and I talk about the details of that. Now now what I did differently in this program is I added a bunch of variables actually I added about uh, 11 different variables so I can do some averaging so um, okay so I call it B B1 B2 all the way up to B11 so here's here's the first difference and then um, in our main loop what I do before I read this is where I read the analog input this is the time-consuming part of the program so what I do is I take th that value from last time, I, I store it in B1, and if I had a B1, I store it in B2 on down the line. So basically I store the last 12 uh, uh, values that I read on the analog, because it seems like uh, when you're doing these fast reads, every once in a while it'll have a, a number that's way out there. But if you do a bunch of averaging, uh, it will uh, make the signal... Uh, pretty constant because it's just once in a while it gets a bad error or a bad bad value so I store the last 11 just keep on sliding the values down here until they fall off the end and then I uh, reset the value of B to the average now this is uh, 
this is an integer divide, so it's going to create an integer. So we're, we're uh, reading an integer, and then we're going to create a new integer. I'm going to add up the last 12 measurements and then divide it by 12 integer divide. And this is what gives us our average. And I do that on both cycles. So I have the, the I'm, I'm doing the separate cycles, high cycle, low cycle. So I do the same process, the exact same process on the low cycle. And this is what uh, got rid of all that jitter in the um, in the uh, oscope. Remember, again, when I was running it before, it had a lot of jitter, and this is kind of what the jitter looked like. Okay, so here we go. Hi. And so now we've gotten rid of it um, <coughs> with the averaging here, and so this is a simple way. Now you can do the averaging inside of the read. Let's see, where, where was that? We have this set up for the uh, A to, A to uh, D converter. But if you do that, then it's going to delay all the processes, right? That you're, you're not going to be able to go to the high frequency. It's going to knock down the max frequency to maybe, you know, 200 kilohertz or maybe 100 kilohertz, depending on how many averaging you do. So if I just take, take a read and then average in between... Uh, when I'm doing other things with the Arduino, then uh, I don't really take a big hit. It's, it's uh, you know, from 568 to 532. So I could take the averaging in between just by taking fast averages and do my own averaging rather than having the uh, this, this algorithm doing the averaging and lock up the processor while it's doing it. So this, this way I can get around that and still have a very fast oscillator and do averaging to get a solid signal. Okay, so anyway, uh, <clears throat> that's how it's done. That's how I fixed the problem. I just wanted to do a simple and quick, uh, quick and dirty video just to do that update, and then I'll be doing some more interesting things soon. Okay. Anyway, hope this helps you out. This is Dr. Jaynes, and thanks for watching.